Hi, hello, my name's Than, short for Nathaniel. So today I have Lisa Eldridge's new Seamless Skin Tint, and I have it in the shade T1. I also have the KJH brand by Katie Jane Hughes. I have her Hyper Light, or Hyper, Hyper Shine Light Kit. And then I have the cutest concealer in the world. <laughs> <laughs> this little tiny Laura Mercier Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Concealer. <laughs> and this is just, I mean, I'll get into it, but I am obsessed with this little concealer. <laughs> and then for eyes, I don't know yet, so we'll get there when we get there. I guess we'll just start with the tint and get right into it. So, I have the shade T1. Um, it's like a squeezy bottle, has a nice nozzle. So this runny swatch here is, is the skin tint in T1, and then this is shade two, the foundation. If you can kind of see, you know, the textural difference. So the tagline is two drops till your, your best skin day. So I kind of have two-ish, but we'll see how this covers, like if it, if it covers any of my redness, we'll see. So right away it feels extremely thin. I feel like I'm literally just like smoothing air onto my skin. It's so thin, oh my God. Oh my God. That is so lightweight. <laughs> I'm gonna kind of go over here too. So for my face personally, I'm definitely gonna need more than two drops, but Wow, it's so thin. It's like, I don't know, normally when I think skin tint, I think a little bit dewier or but like, you know, like a little more oily. I'm gonna use the Sonya G Jumbo Base. Oh, it looks great with a brush. It looks great. Oh my God. I love this. I feel like sometimes even with skin tints, sometimes they're just endlessly streaky, you know? Even though it's like light, but this, because it's so, so thin. Oh my God. Yes! I don't know, I feel like this could not go any better right now. <laughs> I'm gonna really try to like pinpoint and build and just see like, I'm curious if I can get it to cover the spot here of my redness. I think you can build it slightly. This is so flawless looking. Are you kidding me? I want to share more details about this custom palette that I have because um, a couple people left some comments asking, you know, what it was, where did I get it, you know, what's the deal with it? <laughs> so basically it's from this brand called Kit Pack um, and they're like a makeup artist brand and they sell like things for your kit. <laughs> so they have like different palettes like this, they have, you know, clear containers of all different kinds, bags, you know. Um, and also like different size metal pans. And of course the palettes are magnetic. So you can just like depot things and put them in there. So I have two palettes that I made. What inspired me to do this in the first place was because of my, it was my rose ink blushes um, because I have every single shade and I just don't reach them ever because they're all together in their little compacts and I have them all nicely like magnetized and stuff so that Every time I want to find the shade that I want to use, I have to pick up each one, look at the back, you know, whatever. So I just was like, I want them all in one spot. So here, so they have, they have different kinds of palettes. The, this one has a mirror on one side. This one is double-sided. Yeah, so these are, this is every single shade of the rose ink blushes all together. How cool. Um, if I did this in the future, I might consider also using their service. What you can do is send them all the stuff that you want them to depot for you. And you can even choose like how they do it. So you can choose options like, oh, if it's a cream, you can choose if you want the cream just kind of like smoothed over and even or melted, I think is what it was or something like that. Um, but I was like, oh, I can just do it myself. It's so annoying. Let me tell you, it was so messy. Like I wasted, so many paper towels, I'm embarrassed to admit. <laughs> In the red palette, I have three shades of the blender cover. 
I believe this is one, this one's 2.25, this one's two. This one is the um, KVD Good Apple Foundation, and I forget the shade I have. I feel like it's like light 16 maybe. Um, this is the Milk Makeup um, Contour Stick. Yeah, mine got fucked up like a lot of people's did. Mine didn't start that way. I had a good run, but then it stopped twisting up. So I like, it was really annoying. So I just dug it all out. <laughs> Across from that, I mixed this Milk Contour in with some blender cover. <laughs> Cause I was like, oh, I bet, you know, just mixing my contour with that would make it even more natural. Um, and then I did the same thing with these two blushes. So this little blush is blender cover mixed with one of the rose ink blushes. And it's like, so like creamy. It's like, it's crazy. And then this one is the blender cover mixed in with a blush from Hank and Henry. And it's kind of like a little Franken blush because it's like a cream to powder formula. And then I mixed it in with the cream foundation. So even looking in it, it's like not all fully mixed and it's not like perfect, but it almost has like coverage to it. I don't know, I like it. It's kind of cool. Maybe I'll use that today and show you. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, yeah, I guess I'll just, I'll play with this palette and show you. Ooh, I'm excited. So I'll take my custom contour. So now I'm gonna take my blush <laughs> and that's a swatch for you as well. So you can see it's swatched and you can see it's like so like neon. Okay, let's talk about this insanely tiny concealer. <laughs> So I'm sure all of you know that their latest foundation, even though it's not new, it had a moment recently and it was blowing up and everyone was going crazy. I do have a review on that foundation if you're interested and I'll, I'll put that down below so you can watch it, but it has a really nice lightweight, smooth texture. You know, I, I can see why it blew up. Like it is good. It feels luxe, like good job, Laura Mercier. Um, but I really wanted to try this concealer and then I saw it was a GWP on Sephora. So I was like, hell yeah. Um, I was like, I cannot resist this little concealer. I wish I could buy just like a hundred of these little things and have, or have like every single piece of my makeup just be this tiny and just have it in like a little pill case or something. It's so cute. I'll show you the shade. <laughs> I believe this is 1N, but it doesn't say it on it. So I'm gonna have to check before I buy it. But yeah, um, I kind of, I haven't really worn it like with a full face of makeup. I've just done quick under the eye situation before work. So we'll see. So beautiful. It looks so smooth under the eyes. It gave great coverage and it just, it doesn't look makeup y. I'm gonna use a little bit of the Pat McGrath under eye powder. You might know this about me, but this is one of the only powders I've hit pan on like completely. My first one of this was like just pan, <laughs> like just metal. Um, and this one I can see, I actually hit pan on this one too now. I feel like I haven't used it in a while though. And they are releasing, Pat's coming out with a pink version. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm, I, I'm definitely gonna get it. And this is the uh, Chikahoto Z brush. I'm not sure exactly which one. I think it's the Cheek, Cheek Highlight Brush. But look how like brightening and blurring this powder is. It's really nice. So on to the KJH brand products. So basically I think there's four colors. Um, I have the shade Light Pink. Um, and then it, the kit also comes with a brush and the Hyper Shine Serum. Here is, you can kind of see it reflected there, I hope the light pink shade. So basically the philosophy with this product is to like mix and match and customize the finish of your glow, the type of glow that you want, 
Um, you can use this on the eyes. I don't know if I mentioned this yet, but I love Katie Jane Hughes. I mean, you probably already know, but I've done like a ton of KJH Academy with her. So that's like, so basically she does a look on like a Friday and then her followers have the weekend to recreate the look as close as they can on them, you know? And then um, she picks like, I think maybe seven people or seven looks or however many she can pick probably, <laughs> however many she could fit in a post. And she posts those on her um, page along with the original look. Anyways, so basically um, the Hyper Shine Serum. So I'll just kind of do a little drop on my hands. You can see it's kind of got a little bit of like a glossy texture, but it's like not sticky like a gloss. It's more like, I don't know, like it's more serum-y. Like it is called Hyper Shine Serum and yeah, it's definitely more serum-y. It's not ta that tacky, um, but I just wiped the majority of it away and you can see it does leave your skin with a, like a, a natural glow. If you like, you could use this on its own too. So she says you can kind of like plop it right in there. So I'm gonna take the brush and I'm literally just gonna sort of mix it around in here. And it doesn't get weird once you put the serum in. And I've put quite a bit of serum in this, you know, by accident. And it, yeah, it, it doesn't get weird. I don't know, like, it, it is, it's definitely a unique product. Um, I'm gonna take kind of what I have on my brush and just sort of work it in using the back of my hand. Cause I don't wanna go like, too super crazy. So this is the serum mixed in with the pigment. And this is the thing. So you can add, you know, more pigment. You can add more gloss to like customize the level, the pigment to do ratio. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, I guess I'll just kind of start here and I'm not gonna like swipe. I'm just gonna kind of just lightly dab it on. And it's extremely natural, but extremely reflective. And it doesn't look like glittery on the skin. And it's not disrupting the foundation underneath. And I'm kind of just going back onto my, onto the back of my hand to pick up a little bit more. And it's, oh my God, yeah, it's just really, really nice. I think I will use this again on the eyes as well. <gasps> no, my battery's dying. My battery died, but I had another one fully charged from like months ago, yes. <laughs> so I think for the eye look, I think we are gonna use the Victoria Beckham Spring Eyewear Collection in this video. I swatched them in my last one, but I just wasn't feeling doing blue. Um, now let's do blue. <laughs> of course, the new shades are Ballet, which is like, a kind of like rose goldy pinky, um, shroom, which is like a deep taupe, and then cornflower, which is a bright kind of sky blue. So here they are. I do have a few other shades of these. I have her last spring collection with the pink and the yellow, um, and those are beautiful. I really like those colors, and it's just a really nice formula. I think I'm basically just gonna kind of like put this everywhere. And then this is the refer number two. So the thing is, is with this color, I feel like close up, it's not gonna look the most even. I'm gonna take ballet now. Like I want it kind of here. Almost becoming a little lilac-y. I don't know, something's, it's doing something with this blue. I'm gonna take some of the Hyper Light Shine pigment. I'm gonna put that in the inner corner. I think that, so I have another Adept Cosmetics palette, the Element 115. Definitely gonna be doing 
more in-depth video with this, um, or at least more looks with it. <laughs> um, but there's this one shade, Commander DF, that I think will be a good transitional blue for this, or I don't know, I just kind of want to see what this looks like when I pack it on top. I'm gonna take the Sonya G Worker Pro, and I'm just gonna like, press this on top just to help fill in the gaps of the creasing a little bit and just help this blend a bit more. Oh yeah, this did exactly what I wanted it to. Oh my god, I love this. Gonna take some of the mattes from the Lisa Aldridge Vega palette. This is the rougher number three brush. I'm just taking these two mattes here. Nothing crazy, just a little bit of shadow here. And then just a little bit of the darker one, just a little. I think I just need a smidge more of the hyper light shine. Hyper, yeah, hi hyper shine light. <laughs> this is just some random Urban Decay brush. And I'm taking some of the hyper shine up here. You can use the Benefit Brow Wax, precisely my brow wax, in shade 3.5. Of course, we'll use Kitten Lash from Lisa Eldridge. Then before I do mascara on the lower lashes, I'm just gonna use the Victoria Beckham Brightening Waterline Pencil. And then I'm feeling like probably Lisa Eldridge dance card. So I'm gonna use the Lisa Eldridge Luxuriously Lucent Lipstick in Dance Card. One of my faves. And then a little bit of her gloss in Go Lightly. So I just sprayed her Seamless Skin Mist, and I'm gonna show you I got Nikki's Nimya Fan Game Changer. Okay, so I think that's it. Let's zoom in and then we'll go over my final thoughts. Starting with the Lisa Eldred Skin Tint. This is like without a doubt the best skin tint that I've ever tried. Just so unique. Like it's so natural and so skin-like. You don't expect necessarily like performance out of a skin tint. And I feel like with this, you're gonna get performance. It feels like air going on. It's like, oh, I'm like fucking blown away. And I, yeah, I just, I'm worried, I think I'm gonna go through this. Highly, highly, highly recommend. Like, I like her foundation, but this seems, I don't know, they, they both kind of feel innovative, but I'm just excited. I'm excited for this to be my new every day. <laughs> I feel like I need to talk about this concealer because I don't know, it is creasing on me like more than normal. It's not like super noticeable. Um, really only in this light, like in the bathroom, I can't see it at all. It looks super smooth, but yeah, I can see just a little bit of creasing. It's not like super deep creasing. I still think it has that kind of like flawless look to it. Kind of like a blurred look. I mean, I do have that powder on top too, but in normal, like natural lighting, I don't think you would even be able to see like, unless you were literally like, like an inch away from my face. Um, cause even in, even in this lighting at normal distance, I can't really see it. So it's very minor creasing and I didn't even set it with a loose powder. I just quickly kind of dusted over that Pat McGrath powder. So I feel like if I press it in, I'd probably get a little bit less creasing, but I definitely think this is worth looking into and hopefully they still have this little gift at Sephora because this is just like, I'm going to be so bummed when this runs out. It's so freaking cute. And I feel like, you know, I might be able to kind of get some more concealer in there, but I feel like 
it would be like a little hard. <laughs> Now onto Katie's Hyper Shine kit. I love the philosophy behind it. I feel like it just goes well with Katie's brand. I feel like she just is kind of like an educator. So first of all, let's talk about the brush. Um, this is a really high quality synthetic brush. It, it's very soft and it's it doesn't like stab you. It doesn't poke you. Yeah, it's, it's really soft and it it's not extremely dense, but it gives like, it's enough to kind of like apply the pigment, but not enough to disrupt your base. And like, unless I mean you're really trying, but you it allows for kind of like a light application, you know? I don't know how like this goes back to normal after you put the serum in it. Like, I, yeah. I'm not sure if these are available individually yet. I'll have to, I'll post a little note either in the comments or um, on the screen here. Um, but I would like to pick up um, the goldy champagne-y version of this. I do like the pink, but yeah, I'm curious about the champagne gold. <laughs> and the serum is really innovative. I feel like I wanna mix it with other things. <laughs> Especially, I don't know, I'm kind of feeling inspired because I have my custom palettes and I'm like, hmm, like what else can I mix with this? That might be interesting. I don't know, more on that later, but yeah, I, I think this is definitely worth checking out. It's fun and it's also not like that intimidating. I feel like when I first saw this teased, I kind of was like, I don't know if everyone is gonna get that. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, but it's, it's actually, it's super easy and user-friendly and it's just like, you just kind of like, boop a doop ba doop and you got it. <laughs> like. I think that when you first see it as like this kit, it might seem intimidating, but it's really not. One thing I will mention is a little bit of the serum does go a long way. Yeah, so just know you don't need to use a lot of this. You really just need like one to two drops, but you know, use how much, however much you want. That's, that's also kind of the point. Overall, I like the packaging. I like the color. I like the philosophy, the application. Yeah, I just can't wait to see what she's gonna come out with next. I know it's gonna be really cool. Okay, Shroom Ballet and Cornflower. Um, I mean, Cornflower is insane. I would say definitely go for Cornflower. And if you wanted a pink instead of Ballet, I think just go with, I think it's Macaroon or Macaron. Um, I would just go with that. It's a lot more fun. Like this is kind of just like a meh, meh. Like it's pretty, but meh. Um, and the Shroom shade, I don't know, like, I feel like with this collection, the specialness is is the cornflower shade. I would I would get cornflower. You might get some patchiness with this, like I did, kind of like in the center. But putting that powder on top, it kind of like glued it back together and filled it filled in the gaps. And if you're not going to use this all over the lid, like I think you can use this as like a liner moment, and it won't be smudgy. These kind of like when they dry down, they like dry down. Like if you want to blend this in a large area. You definitely want to like work one eye at a time and really like kind of blend because these set down and are very long wearing. Yeah, and I feel like in general with these, I prefer the matte shades. Um, yeah, for whatever, I just don't think the shimmer shades are like that crazy. And I would think for me personally, it would be the opposite. Like I think knowing myself, I would think I would be in love with the, you know, metallic formula, but the mattes. I live. Okay, I think that's all for today. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and ring the bell to notified every single time that I upload a new video. Make sure to, oh, oh my God, I just went to lift my glasses up. <laughs> Follow my Instagram, Prettier Than Graham, and my TikTok, Prettier Than Talk. Okay, goodbye.